Creatum Pictures brings you your evening news updates, starring your number one Anchorman, Rick Loader. And now, your evening news updates with Rick Loader. Good evening, I'm Rick Loader, and this is your evening news updates. Thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight we have new, late-breaking news, and we will bring it to you in just one moment. And tonight, we have some new developing stories as they come in. Our first story tonight is about the new season of football, and that means training camp is right around the corner. To join this story right now, we have our co-correspondent, Jeff Cockersman, standing by. Jeff, can you hear us? Hi, Rick, and yes, I'm live here at the football training camps, and I have to say, it is pretty amazing to watch these guys make the plays happen and how good they do at it. I can't believe my eyes. It's just like watching a quarterback make a perfect 30-yard pass, not even trying. Take his right arm and just, boom, and he just throws it like there's no tomorrow. Hi! Huh? Oh! 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 oh. oh. Oh, Jeff, uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay, Rick. I just took a couple of hits, that's all. I mean, that's a part of football. I mean, come on, I used to play uh, short stuff. Yeah. Say that? Oh, hey, I got the ball. Uh, guys, I think he's hurt. I'm okay. We are having technical difficulties. Please stand by. We now return you to your local news updates. Okay, well, we'll get more news from Jeff Coppersfetz later in the show. In the meantime, with another news that is just outbreaking as of this time. We have a late breaking news. This is just in. We have uh, Jesse Gleeman at the scene with uh, some crazy news from Poor Choice of Words, my bad. From a place that is dedicated to helping ADD people and their problems. We go live to Jesse Gleeman. Jesse? Good evening, America. I am Jesse Gleeman, and I'm reporting live from the scene at a place that people call nature's history. Some people also like to refer to it as the freak show. I'd like to refer to it as simply a miracle towards society. But America, not only do tonight I get to be there to witness what goes on, but you, the people at home, get to be the judge to see how our society is working with ADD people and people that need help. So. Without further ado, I have a special guest who is going to explain to us what LHPFU stands for. Yes, that's the name. Remarkably, it's abbreviated. There is an actual name to it. We'll find out in a little bit what LHPFU stands for. In the meantime, here is our special guest that we are going to be talking to, Dan Convez. Dan? Well, Jesse, instead of just showing you, how about I explain it to you by showing you how it works. Over here to your left, there is an ADD participant. Observe and watch and see how our miracles work wonders. Um, okay, over here, over here, uh, I, I, I'm coming. Oh yeah, yeah! Oh, oh, hey! Oh yeah, that's me! I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, no, I could be somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure I'm right here because that's where I'm at right now. That's just where I'm at, okay? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay! Please sit 
down. Down, sit down. Um, could you please put that in a sentence where um, I'm knowing if I need to sit down on the ground, sit down on a chair, sit down in the air. You know, I could probably do that. You know, you forget I have some tele telekinesis up here. Forget. Sit down on the chair. Sit down, sit down on the chair. Sit down. Okay, I, I can do that. What do I, I can do it? I can do a lot of other things. Just sit down on the chair. Okay, I sat down. What now? What now? Come on. Tell me I got something else to do. I sat down. It's okay. I sat down. Two seconds. That was my book record right there. Please. Sit down on the chair and count to five. Oh, uh, okay. I, I think I can do that. I, I'm pretty sure I can do that. <laughs> what? Two. this chair. No! Sit down and count the five! One! Two, three, four, five! Ha! I can't! Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. You know what? I'm done! I have done what you asked. So stop looking at me that. Look! <sighs> Look at me! I'm having to put up with my boss, which who happens to be my wife. That means there is no such thing as sexual harassment. And none of it will ever stick. Do you know how bad that is? Come on. Ben, do this for me. I don't want to lose my job. Not to my wife. I have to do this. You have to do this for me, Ben. I don't want to lose my job. You want to see a good guy lose his job? <laughs> I don't know. It's okay, Ben. Don't worry about it. It's not your problem. I, I, I can handle it. It's fine. It's okay. Mm hmm and, uh, tell me, Mr. Confez, how does that make you feel? See? Sheer genius. Our studies prove to a fact that if we could get the person to just sit down on a chair and listen to somebody's story, they really do have feelings, and they really will listen. Anything else you'd like to ask me, Mr. Gleeman? So do they take any special medications to keep them from going back to being the way they were before? Or is this just one of those special treatments where it never happens again? Yes, that's all that matters here at LHPFU. We are committed to helping any cause or any disease. <laughs> LHPFU? <laughs> it sounds like a drug prescription. Well, thanks for showing us around, Mr. Convez. Well, there you have it. Another story covered. I'm Jesse Gleeman saying, if you have a loved one with problems, just send them to LHPFU, where anyone can have a dream. They just might take a while to refurbish it. Back to you at the studio, Rick. Well, that was an interesting story right there. When we return, we will have more updates from Jeff Cooker's fans and more news as it comes in. I'm Rick Loder saying, stay tuned, America.